to give you an idea, our current emergency room is only built to handle about 40,000 visits per year. We've been over 50,000 for a while now, so our 27 beds that we've had have been pretty much put to use, uh, and it's time to increase that capacity. So we're looking with our new expansion in this building on the bottom floor to house double the square footage in our emergency department than we did before. We're going from 27 to roughly 45 beds. And in those beds, we'll also have a very comprehensive imaging department so that we can more quickly diagnose emerging conditions for the stroke patients and other patients that need very quick diagnosis as time sensitive. We'll have a pod of treatment rooms there, a trauma room, so that any of those conditions that we diagnose quickly, we can maintain and manage and stabilize those patients in that emergency room while we're waiting on additional beds or waiting to transfer patients to other specialty hospitals. We'll be able to handle that all right there. And in addition to that, we're going to have a special transfer area for our very, very fragile and ever-increasing growing behavioral health patients. And uh, we don't have a very good situation for them now, but we will have a better one once we get this new emergency room completed. With respect to the critical care tower, you can see how much square footage is on just this one floor, okay? It goes on to double this and back of this floor. So we intend to add two more floors to this same size up above this floor here to go up to the fifth story. I think it's 40, 50,000 square feet per floor for a critical care tower. Our critical care needs are also uh, very large and delivered in the city. We have 45 critical care beds today at this hospital, and they're pretty much always full, and we're having to hold patients oftentimes in our emergency department or ship them to the other parts of our system where they may have some capacity at the time. And these two new floors will take us to 92 critical care beds when we're fully staffed and fully uh, occupied in those two floors. And these are specialty critical care areas, neurocritical care, medical surgical critical care, uh, cardiovascular critical care spaces, and all of those areas are specialty trained nurses and staff to care for all those patient types. And so just to have the space is phenomenal. Uh, each of those rooms will have almost double the amount of square footage in each room as we have currently. So that's going to allow us to have our patient families in there with our patient. And the additional technology that, technology that we're seeing, it seems like every month coming online, which is going to be phenomenal. 